Hi everyone. So I'm just entering the craft arena gallery where at the moment my art is being displayed. This one here is called the Knobhead and that is oils painted on board. And you will be able to get some tiled prints of that at £25. So message me if you want one. Then we move on to my light as a feather, which is the light. That's made out of um, porcelain and obviously ceramics painted. Then moving along here to the fabrics corner, you've got bear with a sore head and you've got cat. Let the cat out the bag, that one is. Um, and then that one in the corner again, it's a fabric design that I made and it's Chinese whispers. So two Chinese ladies whispering. Moving along now, and we've got this one here, which is called Foxy Lady. It's a little bit of reflection on that, but never mind. I think you can get the gist of it. So that's Foxy Lady. That one's running pastels. And if I go close up, you can see more of the pastels. I do apologise for the reflections. Then this one here is a textile art. And this one is called Tied Up in Knots. And that's based on a Celtic design. Moving along, here is my main piece, which is the hair. I'll see if I can get a picture of it without my reflection. Okay, not really, but never mind. See if I can do it like that. There we go, there's the hair. And this is my um, centrepiece, I suppose you call it. I feel it's my best piece. And that again is pastels. And if I go close, you can see around the muzzle, especially the close up work. So I've done it so it looks like fur. Unfortunately, that's not for sale. So um, I am keeping that one. But what I have got, if I go down here, is prints of the hair, which are £25. Um, and then prints of my cheeky monkey and my foxy lady. So they're all £20. Um, if you order them online from me and I have to post them out, I just charge a P&P on top. And then if we go to this here, this one here is... Oh, what's this one? Free as a bird, that's what this called. This is a textile art one. If I go close, you can see there's quite a lot of intricacy in that one. I can't remember the price of that one, I'm sorry. It is for sale, but I can't remember. But hey-ho, if you're interested, it's at least £200, so that's a rough ballpark. So if you're interested, just message me. Then this one here is Leap of Faith. Again, this is textile art, and if I go close, you can see it's quite a lot of intricate hand stitching in that one. I am also machine stitching, but that's the textile one. And then we're moving around to the cabinets. This is a right pair, which is done in oils. And that's a right pair, that one's called. And then down below it, I think it's called apple slice. But that one is um, an embroidery. Can't remember, I think it's apple slice. It's quite a small piece anyway, it's only about eight by eight. Then at the top again, is another apple slice, which is all hand stitched. If I go close, you'll see that's all hand stitched as well. Um, and that's a textile art one. And then we move along and we've got this one here, which is called Wedgie. And as you can see, I think, it's pretty obvious it's why it's called Wedgie. And it is an acrylic painting. Moving along, we've got another textile art one, which is, um, Flying high, I think. Ooh, oh, no, it's Over the Hill. This one's called Over the Hill. Um, this one is for sale as well. So if you're interested, message me. Then we have another pastel, which I'm quite proud of, which is Cheeky Monkey. And if I zoom in close on that one, you can see the expression on his face is just so cute. Cheeky Monkey. And that's another pastels, fully framed. And that one, unfortunately, is not for sale as well. Then we have this one here, which is called On the Rocks. And this one is actually based on a photo that I did from the Peak District when I went on holiday with my mum and my sister. So that actually is a place in the Peak District. Then this one here is Blooming Marvellous, which is drawn with acrylics. Um, and that is a square, a square one, about 12 inches by 12 inches. That one is for sale. Next one along is called On Your Bike. Um, and this is a little bit of a abstract picture of a bike. So that again is done in acrylics. Quite a big piece, that one. 
Um, it's about 12 inches by 18 inches, I'd say. And it's on canvas, so it hangs nicely, just flat. And then we come to the things that are in the cabinet. And I'm going to have to turn the cabinet round so you can see it. So there is my doghouse in its full glory. And as you can see, the man is not very happy. But that is my doghouse, which is one of my best pieces, I think. I love that piece. Then the next one here is tied up in knots. Again, acrylic mixed with textile art, which is what I want to try and do. And then if we move along to this next cabinet, we have my other um, ceramic piece, which is the Heinz baked beans. And as you can see, it's another 3D piece where the beans look like they're pouring out the can. That was my aim. Then down below is one of my pictures of knickers in a twist, which is actually textile art. So I'm facing that way around so that people can see them as they walk past. This is the sales table. So we've got lots of little knickknacks on the sales tables that I've made. And then we're coming along now to another. Um, this is my, in the cabinets, this is my, the um, couple of old bags. So one is facing outwards, obviously, so people can see. And the other one is facing inwards, so people can see it. Then down below, it's an unframed piece, really, this one. The top one is the um, from Monet's Gardens, and that's um, Lead Me Up the Garden Path. And then the next one underneath it is a cushion, which is hand-embroidered with crew work, and that is called Mishmash. So that one is the... This next cabinet is the Knickers in a Twist 2. So again, same technique as before. And then here we have two cuffs, which is my, which is called off the cuff. They're going to be called off the cuff. And that's my two finished pieces. This one is not for sale, but that one is for sale. And then we come around to my head is cabbaged, which I've been told is a very northern phrase. Nobody down south really knows what it means. But my head is cabbage means I've had enough. And it's usually a woman that says it, hence why it's on a woman's body. Then this one here, if I turn it round a bit better, that one is go with the flow. So that's just um, a flowy energy kind of picture. Um, and it's supposed to be representative of the, of the sea, because the sea obviously goes in flows. So that's, how that, that's that one. And then what else have we got? Oh, and then the next thing is my got enough on my plate, which is my interactive piece where people can pick them up, look through them, see if, if what's on that plate is something that they have to deal with. So that's an interactive piece. And that's basically it. There is no more. So I really do hope that you come down and you have a look um, and you sort of familiarise yourself with things that are here. It'd be great to see everybody. I am here on the 3rd of June and also the 24th of June at Craft Arena in Billericay. Um, it's in Barneyland, CM11 to UD, I believe. They are closed on a Monday and Tuesday, though, so don't turn up then. So hope that um, you can make it. It would be great to see everybody. And if you do want to see me and you want me to come down um, and talk you through everything, you just drop me a text, drop me a message, and I can almost come over and talk you through everything. Thanks for watching. Bye.